Live from the KCOP Newsroom in Los Angeles, this is Real News. A home video once again plays a role in a civil case against a law enforcement agency. Was plaintiff Arthur Edwin Dole detained, arrested, imprisoned, or caused to be detained, arrested, or imprisoned by a defendant without a warrant or probable cause? Answer, yes. And that's how it went for nearly two hours, as 38 separate verdicts were read, finding that deputies did use excessive force in breaking up the bridal party six years ago. For those who brought the action, there were words of praise for the jury. We just thank God that they saw all the evidence and the fact, and they went off of that. We just thank God for this. Justice prevails. Justice prevails. For the sheriff's department declined to comment on today's verdict. The next phase of the trial is set for Wednesday. That's when the same jury will decide how much money the county will have to shell out in damages. Now, live from the Channel 4 studios, you're watching the number one early morning newscast in Southern California, Today in L.A. And good morning again. The time right now just about to turn 542. There has been a ruling in that $20 million lawsuit against L.A. Sheriff's deputies. The suit targets deputies who raided a Cerritos bridal shower held at the home of a Samoan American family. This morning, Beverly White tells us why the jury decided in favor of the plaintiffs. For 18 weeks, a Superior Court judge and jury listened to testimony regarding the infamous raid six years ago by Los Angeles Sheriff's deputies. The plaintiff's neighbor videotaped the scene as officers responded in riot gear to a complaint about a noisy bridal shower in February 1989. Partygoers at the Cerritos home complained deputies used excessive force, beating a pregnant woman, a 10-year-old boy, and dozens of others for no apparent reason. The Sheriff's Department says its officers were provoked when revelers threw bottles and rocks. But the jury deliberated for two weeks before deciding that the deputies had used excessive force. The plaintiffs are seeking $20 million from the cash-strapped county. Beverly White for Today in L.A. Now, Channel 5 News at 10 with Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, Roland Galvan, Weather, and Stu Nahan, Sports. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department has lost a major lawsuit alleging deputies used excessive force when they raided a wedding party six years ago. The suit was filed by the Arthur Dole family of Cerritos. Sheriff's deputies were recorded on videotape destroying property and beating party guests as they responded to a noise complaint. The county argued that party guests attacked the officers with sticks and knives. But the jury concluded the deputies committed false arrest used unreasonable force and conspired to violate the plaintiff's rights. The plaintiffs have asked for $20 million in damages. That phase of the trial begins on Wednesday. Diana Kariki, Tony McEwing, Suzanne Dunn, Rick Garcia. This is Fox 11 Morning News. In other news, a painful six-year struggle is over for some members of a Southland Samoan community. A jury says law enforcement officers did use excessive force during a raid on a Samoan American bridal shower. Carol Lynn has details on that. February 11, 1989. A neighbor complains about noise and sheriff's deputies respond to a bridal shower in Cerritos. Home video shows the officers pulling guests out of the Dole family home. In some cases, beating them with batons and shoving them to the ground. Deputies say the guests were throwing sticks and knives at them. Did such unreasonable, unnecessary, or excessive force cause said plaintiff any injury or damage? Answer, yes. Six years later, a Los Angeles jury found that deputies used excessive force, a ruling that made the Dole family weep with joy. Justice prevails. Justice prevails. The jury also found that deputies arrested Arthur Dole, the father, using excessive force and detaining him without cause while conspiring to deprive him of his rights. The family lawyer called it an across-the-board victory for the Doles who charged the L.A. County sheriffs with false arrest, false imprisonment, assault and battery. The county's attorney is reportedly surprised by the verdict. And Sheriff Sherman Block isn't commenting about the verdict because technically the trial isn't over yet. The Dole family is suing for $20 million and a jury hasn't decided yet how much the county is going to have to pay. That will be determined in the next phase of the trial where the Doles will testify as to the emotional and physical harm they say they suffered at the hands of law enforcement. 
In Los Angeles, Carol Lynn, Fox 11 News. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Harold Green, Lisa McCree, Dallas Rains Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 11. Close to $16 million. That's what a jury today awarded to three dozen people beaten or arrested by sheriff's deputies during a raid on a bridal shower in Cerrito six years ago. Eyewitness News reporter Trisha Takasugi joins us live with some of the reaction from the family that will get the bulk of that award. Trish? Well, Lisa, it is the largest civil rights damages award that the L.A. County Sheriff's Department has been ordered to pay. And for the 36 people who will share in the award, justice has been a long time coming. Now each will receive damage awards ranging from $35,000 up to nearly $4 million. The broken bones and cuts and bruises that members of the Dole family suffered six years ago when sheriff's deputies raided a family bridal shower may have healed by now but painful memories still haunt them. And as they sat in court today and listened to a Superior Court jury award them nearly $16 million in damages, it meant a lot to them in proving their innocence to the world, but tonight they tell me it does little to ease their ongoing suffering. The mental part and the physical part, it's just, it just takes a lot. I don't know when, I don't even know if we can heal from that. It's, you know, we can forgive, but we'll never forget. And the real compensation the Dole family has always wanted cannot be measured in dollars and cents. They have never admitted that they were wrong, or they haven't even said, I'm sorry, not one word of an apology. That's all I think I would ask for is an apology. One question the Dole family may never have answered for them is just how and why this nightmare had to happen at all. I answered myself, why, you know, why this, but it happened. Hopefully this verdict will uh, sort of um, let the deputies and everyone else out there know that uh, this type of conduct has got to stop. And this trial is not over yet. There are two additional phases that have yet to take place, one of which will decide what, if any, additional punitive damages each of the sheriff's deputies may be personally liable for. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Trisha Takasugi, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. You're watching KCAL TV, California 9. This is Prime 9 News, Southern California's most honored newscast. Well, this could be the most expensive police brutality case ever. A group of partygoers has won $16 million in a judgment against the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. Citizens had sued over a raid on a bridal shower six years ago in Cerritos, a party attended mostly by Samoan Americans. One neighbor's complaint was just too loud. The plaintiff said deputies beat party guests for no reason. Tonight, the victims say they're glad it's all over. Even though they carry a badge, um, they still have to respect people because we're all human beings and, um, you know, there's a constitution that they have to follow. We just want people out there to know their rights, you know, and uh, don't give up on the, the, uh, the jury system because it works. During the trial, defense attorneys argued deputies were provoked when partygoers attacked them. Lawyers representing the sheriff's department had no comment on today's verdict. <laughs> This is Action News at 5 with Ann Martin and Michael Tuck. A jury late this afternoon told L.A. County sheriffs to pay up for using excessive force. The tab is a whopping $16 million. This whole thing began more than six years ago at a bridal shower at the Doyle family home in Cerritos. Now you're looking at home video shot that day by a neighbor. The family and friends of the party say deputies in full riot gear trashed the house, beat up party guests for no apparent reason, and then turned in false reports about it. The jury agreed with that. The Doyle family was awarded $3.8 million. More than $12 million will be split up by guests at the party. This is KCET Newsline. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department will have to pay $16 million in an excessive force lawsuit. Today, an L.A. judge ruled against the Sheriff's Department saying deputies used excessive force when raiding a bridal shower in Cerrito six years ago. The more than three dozen Samoans sued for civil rights violations, malicious prosecution, and assault. Live 
From the KCOB Newsroom in Los Angeles, this is Real News. A story that began in 1989 and six years later it's ending with L.A. County as the big loser. It started out as a bridal shower, but this incident between party goers in Cerritos and deputies could cost L.A. County $16 million. Today, that's what a jury awarded more than three dozen people. The party goers claimed sheriff's deputies put on riot gear, beat up the guests, and trashed the house for no reason. Attorneys for the county won't say if they will appeal the decision. You are watching Channel 4 News, coverage you can count on. Now, live in Southern California, this is Channel 4 News at 5. In the meantime, in February of 1989, a police raid on a bridal shower, a jury has ruled that it was excessive force. A jury awarded a staggering nearly $16 million to 38 Samoan Americans who were at the party. They said they were victims of a police beating six years ago. Now, this is the scene in the courtroom as the clerk read the verdict today. You can see many of the victims emotional. Conan Nolan was there. Let's go to him for more on the story. Conan? Colleen, all along the Sheriff's Department said they acted responsibly. This was a bridal shower that erupted into a fight. They said they were called to the area by neighbors who were concerned about violence. But members of the families involved in this bridal, sh bridal shower said it was the Sheriff's Department that was out of control. A jury agreed with the plaintiffs, and today it cost the County of Los Angeles plenty. Compensatory damages in the sum of $180,000. Count by count, the court clerk read the jury's verdict, while some in the audience wept. The 36 plaintiffs, most of them Samoan Americans, were awarded a total of $15,918,000 in damages from the county, the largest award against the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department in history. David Dole was awarded $3.8 million. He says justice has been served. The district's attorney's office had two good attorneys, but you can't beat the truth, and that's what uh, prevailed in this case, and we're just thankful for everything. Dole was one of dozens attending a bridal shower which erupted in violence in February of 1989. Sheriff's deputies say they were pelted with rocks and bottles when they arrived following complaints from neighbors that the music was too loud. But family members say that was not true and submitted this home video to help prove their point. The pictures were taken by a neighbor. Last month, a jury ruled that the deputies had used excessive force during the raid and had maliciously prosecuted a number of people arrested at the party. I suggest to you that it's more than just a videotape. We had neighbor after neighbor come in and say what they saw, and it contradicted what the deputies were testifying to. Attorneys for the county would not comment. The Sheriff's Department released this statement, saying the Sheriff's Department is consulting its legal counsel regarding the grossly excessive damages awarded in the six-year-old matter, and our attorneys are considering filing a motion for a new trial. But it's not over. The jury still has to uh, discuss punitive damages, which could end up also in the millions against the county of Los Angeles. Conan Nolan reporting live from downtown. Paul Colleen, back to you. Now, Channel 5 News at 10 with Hal Fishman, Jan Carl, Larry McCormick, Roland Galvan, Weather, and Stu Nahan, Sports. Here's Hal Fishman. In another case, a jury awarded nearly $16 million to 36 people who sued the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. That case stemmed from a 1989 raid on a bridal shower. The jury found that deputies used excessive force when they raided a Cerritos home owned by plaintiff Arthur Dole. Warren Wilson reports. The long-awaited verdict brought tears of joy to the Dole family. For plaintiff David Dole, compensatory damages in the sum of $3,881,000. The jury found that sheriff deputies had maliciously filed false reports, had lied to the DA, and knowingly violated the civil rights of a family and their friends. The $15.9 million award was the largest ever against the sheriff department. In a statement released by the sheriff, he called it grossly excessive and said he may ask for a new trial. The claims arose when deputies broke into the Dole home and assaulted family members and their friends attending a bridal shower six years ago. When a deputy does something like that, it's just another bust or another thing to them, but the families or the individual that gets injured or arrested, it stays with them forever. Police brutality does exist and they can't get away with it. The Dole family says they have lived with painful memories of what happened the night deputies broke into their house and went on a rampage. 
Now they say they can move on with this $15.9 million verdict confirming their sense that justice was on their side all along. From the county courthouse in downtown Los Angeles, Warren Wilson, Channel 5, News at 10. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department slapped with its largest damage verdict ever, $16 million for violation tied to a raid at a bridal shower. Barbara Schroeder has details. The moment was overwhelming. The jury had just awarded a total of almost $16 million to these Samoan Americans who charged their civil rights had been violated. This videotape, shot six years ago by a neighbor, was part of the trial. It shows deputies clubbing people who had been attending a bridal shower that got out of hand. The sheriff's department contended deputies were pelted with rocks and bottles after they arrived and that some were injured. But plaintiffs say the deputies overreacted and hurt some of the party goers much more seriously. Memories that are still painful after six years. He was really beat up bad because I was the one that opened the door to let him in. And he was, his head was cracked open and his arm was broken. Sharon Dole's brother was one of the 35 who sued the sheriff's department. Their attorney says the tape helped their case, but that wasn't all. I suggest to you that it's more than just a videotape. We had neighbor after neighbor come in and say what they saw and it contradicted what the deputies were testifying to. As for reaction from the sheriff's department, well, they declined an on-camera interview, but they did issue this statement that says they consider the damages to be grossly excessive and that their attorneys are looking into filing a motion for a new trial. The plaintiffs say they feel they have now sent a message to law enforcement. Even though they carry a badge, um, they still have to respect people because we're all human beings and, um, you know, there's a constitution that they have to follow. They, they've given the oath to uh, uphold that. And the jury system does work in the court system, but they believe they are failed. In Los Angeles, Barbara Schroeder, Fox 11 News. This is CNN. Three dozen people have won a record damage award against the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. A jury ordered payment of nearly $16 million after deciding deputies had used excessive force against them. Nearly 100 deputies responding to a noise complaint arrived at a family bridal shower in 1989. According to trial testimony, among the people beaten by the officers were a pregnant woman and a 10-year-old boy. CTV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Gene Gleason, Laura Diaz, and Johnny Mountain with weather. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 1130. The county of Los Angeles today lost in its bid to overturn a $16 million judgment over alleged brutality employed by sheriff's deputies in breaking up a wedding party in 1989. The county was seeking a new trial in the multi-million dollar brutality lawsuit brought by the Samoan American family that hosted the party and some of the guests who got roughed up in the process. The most damning evidence in the trial was this home video shot by a neighbor. Today, the county's effort to win a new trial based on new evidence was thrown out on several technicalities, one having to do with its jurisdiction. To issue rulings uh, based on the fact that, uh, based on the premise that the trial court did not have jurisdiction now, something which was clearly erroneous, something which the plaintiff's lawyers didn't even dispute, I think is... Uh, well, there are probably several adjectives I could use to describe it. No, I won't. Well, the county plans to appeal to a higher court. And an L.A. judge has refused to order a new trial in a multi-million dollar brutality lawsuit by a Samoan M American family. The Samoan family won the lawsuit against the L.A. County Sheriff's Department last August. A lawyer for the county says the plaintiffs now admit they lied about the events surrounding the sheriff's raid. But the judge denied the county's request for a new trial because of a technicality. A 
judge has refused to grant a new trial in a brutality lawsuit brought against the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. The multi-million dollar lawsuit was won by a Samoan American family back in August. The family claims deputies went too far when they entered their home and broke up a bridal party back in 1989. A lawyer for the county asked for a new trial on the grounds that some family members now say they lied about the incident. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Steve Wolford, Christine Lum, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rick Lozano Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 4. Los Angeles uh, today bought or lost a bid to overturn a multi-million dollar judgment against the Sheriff's Department. The county was ordered to pay the Samoan American guests at the 1989 bridal shower $16 million for being subjected to a brutal attack by deputies. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Michael has more. The motion for a new trial was denied despite county attorney's claims that six of the plaintiffs who were at the 1989 bridal shower in Cerritos changed their story. They now say that some of the Samoan Americans at that shower threw rocks and bottles at sheriff's deputies provoking the violent arrests that night. Uh, to issue rulings uh, based on the fact that, uh, based on the premise that the trial court did not have jurisdiction now, something which was clearly erroneous, something which the plaintiff's lawyers didn't even dispute, I think is, uh, well, there are probably several adjectives I could use to describe it. No. The court ruled that the county did not file its new evidence properly, a technicality. The county says it will appeal. But the lawyer representing David Dole and his family argues those plaintiffs were coerced into recanting their testimony anyway. And Dole, who won the lion's share of the multi-million dollar settlement, says the sheriff's department cannot escape its guilt. There's no way they can defeat this case. This case is it's living on truth, and that, that's going to prevail forever. Many of the jurors from the seven-month-long trial applauded the judge's decision, questioning the county's claim that the deputies were provoked. The evidence belies that. It, it, I've talked to every single juror about this issue. There's not a single juror that would change their vote based on the declarations we've heard about. The jurors, most of them government workers, say they know $16 million is a lot of money. They hope it sends a message to Sheriff Sherman Block that his department needs to make some changes. In fact, this panel says it may go directly to the County Board of Supervisors, saying that if the sheriff won't tell the supervisors the truth, they will. In Los Angeles, Jeff Michael, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Mark Brown. Laura Diaz, Dallas Rains Weather, and Todd Donahoe Sports. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6. The county of Los Angeles was rebuffed today in its efforts to win a retrial of a lawsuit that could cost the county $16 million. The winners in the case were Samoan Americans, whose 1989 party was crashed by scores of sheriff's deputies. This home video was the key evidence in the case, which alleged police brutality. The county lost today on technical grounds, in part having to do with jurisdiction. To issue rulings... Uh, based on the fact that, uh, based on the premise that the trial court did not have jurisdiction now, something which was clearly erroneous, something which the plaintiff's lawyers didn't even dispute, I think is, uh, well, there are probably several adjectives I could use to describe it. No, I won't. The county plans to appeal today's decision. KBC TV Los Angeles, number one for news and information. This is Eyewitness News with Gene Gleason, Alicia Lee, and Johnny Mountain with weather. Now live, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6 a.m. The L.A. Sheriff's Department will ask for a new trial today in a lawsuit over a raid on a bridal shower in Cerritos in 1989. A yeah, jury awarded the Arthur Dole family and several guests $16 million damages, but the county says some plaintiffs have admitted they lied on the witness stand. Veteran L.A. County Sheriff's deputy has set off a hot debate tonight. The sergeant is organizing a new group to represent white male deputies. Eyewitness News anchor Mark Brown has details now. He is live from the Sheriff's Department's Lenox Station. Mark. Yes, Lisa and Harold, this could be a political hot potato for Sheriff Sherman Block. It comes just weeks after the Sheriff's Department was forced to pay a multi-million dollar settlement over some sheriff's deputies who beat Samoan Americans at a party. Now comes this white sheriff's deputy who wants to form an organization for white deputies to speak out for white males and against affirmative action. 
I think the name is self-explanatory. It's the Association of White Male Peace Officers. Sheriff Sergeant Ed Kirsty says white male police officers have been taking a beating. So I uh, organized this uh, organization just so that we would have a voice that uh, to speak for us. But critics say Kirsty's organization summons up memories of a group of white deputies called the Vikings who have been successfully sued for mistreating people of color. To the common citizen, they look at white officers and they think they're already a majority. Why are they trying to become a supermajority? Why, why do they want to hold on to this supermajority? Why, why not share some of the power? The power structure of the sheriff's department says the department does not sanction nor does it have any professional affiliation with the Association of White Male Peace Officers. So why can't you condone this organization when you condone the Black Peace Officers Association and the Women's Peace Officers Association and the Asian Peace Officers Association? If you can tell me the difference between what my association is and what their association is, I'll put in with you. And since uh, various news organizations have done this story earlier in the day, he says his phone's been ringing off the hook with officers who want to put in with him. Incidentally, he says the organization is open to non-whites and females as well. Reporting live in Lenox, Mark Brown, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Mark, thank you. Do I understand your testimony? Uh, you didn't strike anyone, did you? I did. Do I understand your testimony? You didn't arrest anyone in I did not place anybody under arrest. You said that with Mr. Calvillo arresting as I understand. Yes. Sir. And uh, did you cover up any wrongdoing by other deputies then? You mean fail to report? Yes. No. Did you conspire with other deputies to beat up the dolls and Calvillos and Wait on that. You, you do know you're a defendant in the case, don't you, sir? Yes, I do. But, well, did, did you conspire with other, other deputies? Yeah. No, did not. And you know what I'm sort of saying? Did you beat up or falsely arrest the doles and tell the lies and wait on them? Did you do that? No, I didn't. And if you were involved in a cover up, to protect their identity, not talk about what they did. Would you admit it right here on the stand? No, I wouldn't. I was involved in the car. Thank you. I know before they come. You guys were no, not if you were involved. If I was involved in the car, I wouldn't admit it here.